this point in my life, a 20 hey, hey, it's, it's time to change the channel no because there has been just so much wasting our time. It's so let's just keep flipping until we get something about Jesus Christ interesting. That oh, you. The that could be. The of Jesus fulfilling only eight prophecies is one in ten to the seventeenth power, or one in one hundred million billion. That'd wow. be like covering the entire state of Texas with silver dollars two feet deep, marking one, dropping it from a plane, mixing them all up, and then having a person select the mark one at random the first time. <gasps> That's the probability of one person fulfilling eight of the messianic That's prophecies huge. written in the Old Testament. Jesus fulfilled over three hundred. Huge. Here's a fact about Jesus Christ that may show well, you. Well, guess what? I got something bigger. Is... Hey, guess what? It's time for the scepter of all authority to come. And it's time to get with that program. So get ready. Get set. Because here is absolute proof that I... The latter day Daniel of Daniel twelve thirteen do hold the scepter of all authority, kingdom age. And it's time to get with that program, to get with the true understanding of what the Bible actually says and not what we have been taught that it says. And so in this hour, it's time that we look unto heaven, raise our hands, raise our voices. For he who is our majesty of majesties, this way comes. And he comes on the great billowy white cloud of Revelation, uh, Revelation 14. And he stands putting his sickle into the earth for the sickle of his love to reap the world for his harvest of love. Could there ever be any other better kind of harvest? So in this hour, it's time to turn the lights down. It's time to get wild. And it's time to understand that which has not been understood before. And it's time to realize that the eye of God is looking at us through his heart of hearts and quite magnificent is it and so in this hour i am uh the one from the north of isaiah 41 i'm an alcoholic weed smoker as genesis 49 12 says shiloh one whose eyes are red so red they need visine sometime red and dull of wine with milky white teeth because they're fake uh, Habakkuk 2, I am the one transgressed by wine, and even though my soul is not upright, the just will live by my faith. I am the alcoholic of Zechariah 3, uh, standing there with barf all over myself, the writer of the flying scroll of Zechariah 5. And I am the writer of Isaiah 28, line by line. I come forth as a destroying storm, uh, just like Moses said, uh, as it is written in Deuteronomy 18:18 18, 18, and Acts 3. One like him, a writer, a kingdom age covenant giver, and another leading an exodus. Uh, and so I am the writer of Revelation 14's flying scroll uh, and the writer of the everlasting gospel of Revelation 14 with the everlasting covenant thereof. And I am the covenant messenger of Malachi 3.1 who prepares the Lord's way. And I am turning hearts of children to the fathers, fathers to the children by telling them that if you have if or because kind of love, it's not even real love at all. We got to have in spite of love and through it all, through it out, throughout it all kind of love, love that is faithful and dev devoted and dedicated. I am the revealer of uh, the love of Christ's uh, depth of his love of Amos 7 because he is now revealing by giving his covenant to all mankind. He is revealing himself as the sower of the seed of love who has overtaken his reaper. And uh, I am the giver of the uh, name Chrislam unto Israel in the appointed hour of the end. And that is what 
the word says that it would come to pass, that they would have a new name, Isaiah 62, 2. And if God did not do that, he would be a liar. And so therefore, I am uh, the manifested uh, person who is the hidden arrow of Isaiah 49. And Christ the Lord goes forth on the white horseman of Revelation 6 with a bow just for me. I am the revealer of the Antichrist Putin who would cause all of mankind to go underground. The, the Bible says in the book of Mark, I believe, all the, the kings, the slaves, all will have to go underground into the dens of the rock because uh, with Putin we will be brought uh, a, a nuclear winter. And so in this hour, uh, I am also the revealer of the false prophet, David, Dr. David Owar, uh, who you can see calling down fire from heaven as Revelation 13 prophesied in his video, Elijah is here. Problem is, he is the wrong Elijah. And uh, keep your eye on that guy. Uh, he's operating with magic instead of miracle. And so it's time that um, it, the latter day mountain is revealed. And I am the revealer of that. Isaiah 25, Isaiah 2, and Micah 4. Uh, and we must beat our sword of the sickle uh, in, into uh, that. And uh, we must change. If we don't change, we're going to, we got to change the channel. Because if we don't, we can't get back to the beginning. And we must get back to the beginning of common sense. If we don't, we're really going to be up a creek without a paddle. And so I am a revealer of earth's true beginnings, uh, as Moses foretold. It is the everlasting gospel of creation foretold in Revelation 14. And you can hear it if you punch in everlasting gospel of uh, uh, Revelation 14. Um, and so in this hour, I bring forth the manifestation of Isaiah 54, 3, because Israel has inherited all mankind because the covenant was correctly addressed to them in Jeremiah 31, 1. And it was correctly addressed to all mankind in uh, Jeremiah 32, 27. And Christians uh, switched identities long ago, saying we are Israel and all the prophecy is for us. And they were never Israel at all. And so it's time to realize that I am the revealer of love, of the depth, and the revealer of Satan, Diablo, Beelzebub, Mephistopheles, being removed in this hour. And so it is time, exactly as Daniel 12, 1 says, to rejoice because he had been the accuser of the brethren day and night before the Lord, uh, telling him all about our sins. He would have instantly made God into a liar because God is now saying to all of us, I am your God. You are my people. I have forgiven all your iniquity and I will never remember it again. Sending Satan to the pit right there because otherwise it only would have proved uh, that, that Satan was uh, would have made God into a liar again. Uh, and he's never made God into a liar once. I shouldn't say the word again. But one thing is for sure. I am the, the servant who has done everything in vain, as Isaiah 49, 4 says. And I am the servant of Isaiah 49, 8, who, who must reassign our revealed desolate heritages. And I am the latter-day Daniel of Daniel 12, 13, who has embraced his destiny as the end-time revelator, as Elijah, uh, as it is written. And it is time that uh, I bring forth the manifestation of uh, Zechariah 4, the candlestick that God lit for me and it was never plugged in. This is what uh, christens the flying scroll so it will fly. And so therefore I bring forth the manifested shit pie diarrhea uh, of Malachi 2, which is the reversed curse, uh, the revealed curse of death. Um, because in these days, 
very, very soon with Putin uh, being uh, asshole as he is. Uh, there will be seven horny women and one horny man, according to Isaiah 4, because so few men, and especially in Europe to begin with, uh, will <laughs> belly up. They'll be pushing up daisies. And so these are revealed days as Noah's, exactly like his days, uh, with our soon coming oblivion. Uh, and that is the oblivion of Deuteronomy 18, Acts 3, Matthew 24, 22, Zephaniah 1, 1, Malachi 4, 6, Isaiah 24. And Isaiah 25 brings the revelation of the salvation of earth that could never rise again, that uh, God would remove the veil of love from off all nations in Isaiah 25, off the Latter-day Mountain, covered with spiritual food, 12,000 videos strong. And I am the revealer of God's offer to cut these days short, to return his fierce, terrifying anger, uh, and to stop our craziness. If we will come out of Babylon, if we will come out of confusion, uh, as it is written in Matthew 24, 22, and Jeremiah 30, 24. And I am the revealer of the shattering of the power of the holy people because uh, God's word was only closed until the time of the end, Daniel 12, 9. And his word had to immediately open for the covenant message of Malachi 3, 1 that would prepare his way. Otherwise, he cannot return as it is written in Acts 3. And so in this hour, I am the revealer also of COVID, the trial of all flesh, Revelation 3, that has brought us God's word of patience, keeping us from the hour of the temptation not to change. We must change. We must beat our sword into the sickle. And I am therefore also the true revealer of the meaning of the sickle of love uh, and the, re the revealer of what the sword has meant. For in order to beat our sword into the sickle, in order to learn the ways of war no more we must we must it is imperative we must change our conditional love into unconditional love narrow is the way unto uh, uh, heaven with unconditional love wide is the way unto hell paved with conditional love where every day we rationalize uh, and uh, justify why it's okay not to be loving, not to be forgiving, not to be uh, merciful in our understanding. And I am therefore the writer of the foretold everlasting gospel of creation as foretold in Revelation 14. And if I am all of this, uh, and it is true, then I am the revealer also of why Isa Yeshua Jesus alone can finally become the desire of all nations uh, as it is written in the word of God, uh, since the mystery of God is over of Revelation 10, 7. The shroud, the veil of Isaiah, the mystery is now pulled. And I am therefore the revealer that earth uh, has been made with very great age. Keep your eye on that in Google. Uh, if you don't believe me, T-Rex blood cells images. You'll see the T-Rex blood cell in the vein. Uh, pretty fresh if you ask me. Uh, Adam and Eve had no belly button. So I am also the revealer of Emmanuel coming uh, unto Abraham and what that meant. Within that moment, as Abraham lifted the knife, uh, it proved within that moment that, guess what? Uh, it, it committed Christ Emmanuel into coming the first time. Otherwise, it only would have proved that man, Abraham, had the capability to love and honor God more than God had the capability to love us if he did not do the same thing. And I am also the revealer of Fatima. And that is an amazing amazement. And the lady of Fatima, she came forth upon a rainbow and beauty was the cloud that she stood upon and she said unto the kids of uh, the f watching her in the field the vision of loveliness unfolding uh, she said unto them that if Russia does not consecrate unto love that they would destroy the world 
And this is exactly what is in the process of happening right now. And yet there is still much hope, but people need to be listening to the messenger of hope, which is I alone, because I have the scepter of all kingdom age authority. And so in this hour of love's greatest power, it is time to realize that the Lord's heart of hearts is electric and he wants us to catch that passion. And so I am the revealer of the meaning of Fatima and I am the revealer of the meaning of Daniel 7, 5. The great bear who has come out of the sea chewing on three ribs of Crimea, Donetsk, and Luhansk and now he's chewing on a fourth annexation which means he has now heard the voice, now you may go eat all the flesh that you would like. And so in this hour I am the manifested uh, uh, I bring the manifestation of all kingdom age authority as it is written in Isaiah 49 12 and uh, so therefore I come forth as a destroying storm even as a hailstorm on a uh, 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 supernova uh, to tear down line by line precept by precept would that strong and mighty one come forth uh, with the revealer uh, as the revealer of the appointment of Jeremiah 1.10 and Haggai 2.2 to pull down all distortionalities so that we might see through the glass darkly no more. And so therefore I am the revealer of Muhammad uh, in uh, God's mystery in his part. He said that there would never be another important a prophet ahead. Uh, and he said in the Hadith that his people would belong to another that sounds like Islam. It's Chrislam. Uh, that is the new name that God has appointed unto Israel in the latter days through his end time messenger. I am Daniel. Uh, and any, uh, any Elijah in this world would be named Daniel in accordance with Daniel 12:13. Uh, I am that guy. Uh, ignored in vain, Isaiah 49, 4. And so in this hour, Muhammad said, my people will belong to another that sounds like Islam because of a book proving God's mercy upon us. Uh, Jeremiah 31, 33 to 35 is that book. And he said that it would remove all distortionalities at that time. Uh, and that would bring forth the manifestation of Hebrews 8 uh, because now all faith uh, on earth uh, Islam and uh, Christianity and uh, Judaism and all the faiths are now totally obsolete as it is written in Hebrews 8 last sentences and so in this hour I am the revealer of the first is last the last is first and all nations are now the Lord's because the covenant has been given unto all all mankind uh, and I am the one that uh, I can tell you that the seven trumpets sounded first because the first is last and the last is first turn my camera so I can see that good guy and uh, you know the world has been listening to Darth Darth Vader the Dark Lord and the Jesus of uh, the Bible Christians no one has unless you have the guy uh, with his his uh, his eye on you with love, you don't have no true God in your life at all. And he wants to reveal and remove all of the shame and the guilt of all of us upon his latter-day mountain, as it is written in Isaiah 25. So come forth and uh, get ready for the marriage supper of the Lamb that's never been understood. And so therefore I am the revealer of why Acts 2 and 3 says, uh, uh, Acts 2 and uh, Joel 2 in the latter days, that he would be pouring out his spirit of love upon all flesh because the covenant of peace has always been written to all people and everything else in the Bible is any if ands or buts uh, are not his law of love what I have uh, been giving 12,000 times is his kingdom age eternal covenant of his everlasting gospel which is his unbreakable law of love him saying I am your God you are 
are my people. I have forgiven all your iniquity, and I will never remember it. Satan, goodbye. And so, therefore, I am the revealer of the harvest of love, and I am the revealer of the new Jerusalem, and the new Jerusalem is amazing. Um, and, and it was taken from a Hubble telescope, and uh, this is something that you got to see. I'm looking it up right now. Uh, just Google uh, New Jerusalem NASA. And uh, what you will see is, is this. This was taken by a Hubble telescope. And it is amazing. Uh, and uh, this is undoubtedly the New Jerusalem. And uh, it's a shining city, a crystalline city on the edge of tomorrow. And it is coming forth uh, as a powerful vision of loveliness. And uh, the Sapphire Sea, which is within the uh, boundaries of that celestial city, uh, it uh, is coming forth as beauty unto uh, our ugly tired hearts and if we will let that beauty in when that manifests we will be standing on uh, the the living waters of the crystalline blue ocean of the bottomless depths of the Lord's love and so in this hour it is time to get with that program for the sapphire sea uh, is the sea of the forgetfulness of his uh, love for each and every one of us. And in this hour, it's time to get with the true revelation that the force has always been with us, whether we believe it or not. And so in this time, I am also the revealer of the woman of Revelation 12. Uh, and if you do not believe me, watch her video. Uh, called Apocalypse. It is finished by House of Beloved, Shiasa. Uh, and uh, I am also the revealer of water turning to blood all over this earth. All you got to do is Google images and you will see it's happening naturally. And the kingdom age will arise naturally, one heart at a time. It is not going to be a supernatural event. All of a sudden we're in the kingdom age, people. Be not deceived. Uh, and to be not deceived about false prophets anymore because everybody's been utterly false, utterly uh, apostate, utterly not believing anything the Bible says that is of any importance because people have absolutely no faith in the prophetic word of God which alone will save our asses. Uh, and so in this time, I am the revealer that God loves everyone exactly the same. And his heart of hearts is electric and overflowing for each of us. And I am the revealer that nobody has ever got saved. Jesus said regarding uh, salvation, you can't even know where it blows it's like the wind but he said but you must be as a little child and he said do you in order to inherit the kingdom of God you must become as a little child again with our love alive as a verb uh, with uh, unconditional love that exists in a child we must have that again and so in this hour if we will not do that we end up standing in the land of the walking dead having a form of godliness denying the power of love as we just spit at the Lord will end up being one of those people that says Lord we believed we believed and he's going to say I don't know you get away you let your love go out within me blasphemy of the Holy Spirit me living in you you kicked out and now you are utterly no damn good so get away off into with you into the outer darkness of lovelessness where you will feel quite at home and so in this hour I am the revealer of the truth that Christ cannot even return uh, and because he's kept in reserve in heaven and because of this truest truth it's time to get on with some new understanding so get ready here we go well really is true that whether people like it or not I am the most important person that has ever lived upon this planet earth 
Nothing about me is important. I'm no damn good. None of you are no damn good. The Bible says so, Romans 3.10. If everybody would just have that faith that none of us are any damn good, but it's God living in us that is our love that makes us pretty good even when we're sleeping. That is the faith of the kingdom age. And if people aren't happy with that, they're fucking themselves sideways and raw <laughs> because this world is going to chew us all up and there will be no children left in this planet, no adults. Uh, it's all going to be for nothing. Uh, it's my job to turn the battle back uh, at the gates of hell, uh, to tear down all distortionality so that the wise might live together in peace. People, I have just read to you 65 uh, videos or 65 um, prophecies that I have fulfilled, whether any of you like it or not. And how could people not like the removal of Satan, Iblis, Diablo, Mephistopheles, Beelzebub, the snake of Eden, the father of lies? He had to be removed. This is called logic and reason. Uh, logic and reason says that he would have caused God to be a liar. And God is truth, only truth. So he could never be made into a liar. But yet, if God actually said unto us, I will return my fierce, terrifying anger and stop the fast-rising great tribulation if my people of love will give me the desire of my loving heart to love one another, to let your smiles go in front of all of you so that you stop worrying about false prophets all over the place so that you can open up and realize that your salvation can never be lost as long as you don't commit blasphemy of the Holy Spirit, which is to become totally loveless. Uh, and so it's time to shine as the stars for our majesty of majesties, our hero of heroes is Christ the Lord, who is the good shepherd over all the flocks of man. And so I am the end time true Elijah. And all of you have a false God if you do not have the God of the Bible. The God of the Bible says, I am the Lord God of all mankind. God of the Bible, Christ, says, I am the good shepherd of all the flocks of man. Uh, and all of you have a false God if you have a God of conditional love, for conditional love has never even existed. It has never been any divinity within conditional love. Uh, Sylvester Stallone says it best, unless love is loyal and dedicated and faithful and loving and patient and kind, uh, filled with even long suffering, then it's not love at all. Any loving uh, Heavenly Father would never fry all of his kids everlastingly in Greece uh, till, till the... <laughs> Come on, what kind of God of love is that? It's a, clearly a false God, and you know you got a false God if your God is a respecter of men and loves you best. If you don't believe he's love, according to all the two million uh, duped Christians in the world, uh, then he's going to hate you forever and fry you alive. Uh, I, If I hated one of my kids, they killed someone, I wouldn't want to do them frying the rest of them forever. Uh, it's like just living with that on my conscience. How could anyone loving fry somebody forever, anybody? So I'm calling on people to finally grow a, a brain. You thought I was not Elijah? You better think again because the truth is my soul might not be upright, Habakkuk 2, but the just damn well better live by my faith or you will all die every single one of you so it's time to get with that program and be like the peacock uh change from the ravens and the crows begin to show some love and your passion will come forth as eagle's feathers and so before